Hello everyone, welcome back to Eddie Speed Garage. I'm Ed, and today we're gonna to do something not automotive related. I'm going to make a huge solar heater for my above ground pool. Some of the things you're gonna need here is a nut driver for your clamps, a drill, I got a 650 pack of zip ties there, and this hose is just a plastic half inch hose from Home Depot, 100 feet of it, it cost about $12. I'm gonna use two of those. You're gonna need as many 5-8 splicers as you need sections to splice it. I'm also going to be using a Ryobi 350 gallon per minute water pump. Let's get started. Part of the build, you don't have to buy a pump. You can bypass the water from your water filter to go through your system, but I have one already, so it's just gonna be easy for me to use that. Um, the most single expensive piece besides the pump is the big piece of plywood here that we got, eight foot sheet. Still, it's only about $23 and it's pressure treated. So the first thing I did was drill two holes and attach this end to the board. I'll be putting a 90 degree on here because this will be the return line back to the pool. Now I've laid out my basic shape. I've only got four zip ties and all four ends of the oval. And now I'm just going to roll the whole thing out and start zip tying it down. I'll show you what it looks like then. All right, YouTube, there's my first 100 feet of hose put in. Next, I'm going to show you real quick how to splice it in. I will give you a few pointers here that in the four corners here, there, and there, and there, I put one every tube, but then in between those, I went every other, so two tubes together. I don't think it'll need much more than that. It's not a lot of water and they're not gonna support the weight of all the water, just the weight of the water that's in between those two feet lines. So let's splice the tubes. All right, in order to splice it, you're gonna need 5 8 fitting, which is very tight fitting in these. Just get in there and you force her in. A tight fit it's gonna be yeah, honest you with want. you these things fit so tightly I think I'm just gonna use a zip tie to hold it shut and we'll cut that off yeah it's super tight now I had to join the other side to it Here we go, super tight, joined together. All right, YouTube, that's what 200 feet looks like. I think I underestimated how much I was gonna use. So I think I'm gonna go get another 100 feet, maybe 150 feet, another 100 in the middle, and then another 25 feet each for the supply and the return line. It's coming along pretty good. I wanna say this took less than 45 minutes. A word to the wise. Don't unpack your tubing the day before and just to see how it works by sitting it in the sun because then you get a big old tangled up mess and it'll take you longer. But this was actually very, very quick. All right, YouTube. There it is with 250 plus feet hooked on there with the zip ties. I've screwed my Ryobi pump to the board and attached it with the hose fitting. What? It's just compressed and you just force it on there. Now we're gonna hang it up and we'll finish the plumbing. So this is what the pump looks like running and installed. Jumping into the pool. There's only a degree difference right now, but there's no wet sunlight. Okay folks, so it's all said and done. It was just sunny a little bit ago with my laser thermometer on the outside of the tubing, there was a 10 degree difference. So the external temperature on the inlet side was about 70 degrees and the external temperature on the outlet side was about 80. So that says you're gonna have about a 10 degree increase with this setup. Um, I know a lot of people think the 10 degrees isn't a lot, but try, try swimming in 70 degree water versus 80 degree water and you'll 
you'll agree that this, this setup works pretty well. Like and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming. Catch you later, YouTube.